Morning guys, I'm just getting ready for work so I thought I'd just quickly turn the camera on and go with the flow, see what we come up with today. Um, lately I've been experimenting a lot with eyeshadows and stuff in the mornings, just um, a little pick me up for the day. So yeah, been having a little bit more time in the mornings. So yeah, let's get started. I'm just going to start with my MAC Fix Plus um, just to prep and prime my skin. It's not meant to happen. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm just gonna use my um, beauty blender to just dab it all in place. Um, I haven't been using a primer lately because I just I feel like this one works just fine. Gives me a little bit more hydration um, than the primer or the moisturizer. I feel like my skin's getting a little bit drier as I'm getting older. Um, but I still tend to have like an oily t-zone mostly just around this little area and just a little bit there very little here but like my nose does get shiny quite a bit um, but nothing that our blotting tissue or, or I mean a blotting paper or a single ply tissue can't take care of so just have to potter um, once in a day and that's good to go um, just gonna go in with my lip balm Got a little tiny pimple here which drives me crazy um, but jumping straight into my foundation my foundation routine is pretty much same day to day um, you know same as the last video that I did so I'll probably just speak through this part um, just taking the Maybelline fit me matte and poreless in the shade 220 and I just like to do it this way um, the only thing that I switch up is you know either a brush or a sponge so yeah that's the only thing that changes in that I feel like there's more texture on my nose, which just, oh, I just hate it. Um, anyways, I'm going to go straight in with my concealer. So I'm going in with my Garnier Skin Renew um, anti dark Circle Roller. This is the one that has a little bit of um, tint to it, and I quite like it because my dark circles are not that intense, and this kind of just takes care of what's there, so I don't need to add any more. So yeah, um, in the last video it was a voiceover so I couldn't talk much but um, we have moved into our new place. So we bought this house early in, early in September um, and we've moved in, it's been a while, um, it's been about almost two months now but we're still unpacking. We unpacked most of the things um, when we moved in, like we took, uh, I think we took like three or four days off, full days off. Um, and we unpacked everything at that time but we have like a few things that um, you know they were not like necessities or they're just extra stuff and so we have a few boxes this is a spare bedroom in our house um, we have it's a three bedroom house and um, this is the spare bedroom this is my makeup room it's the office it's a little bit of everything in here so um, we left a few, like I think we have one, two, three, four, uh, around four boxes remaining and we're like, we'll get to it, we'll get to it and we are still getting to it. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, that's why you still see the boxes in the background right there. So excuse that. Okay. I feel like I need a little bit more today. So I'm just going to go in with my NYX Above and Beyond Full Coverage Concealer. And this one I forgot that I need to use like a brush for. It's quite deep inside so I'm just going to grab my Clinique Foundation Brush and just... I did sleep quite weird last night. I've been having a lot of health issues. 
so it's been a little up and down up and down I haven't been sleeping very well anyways moving on <laughs> my family watches these so um yeah um we moved in early september unpacking issues and stuff like that we're, we're working full time and i leave the house at like eight in the morning and i don't come back until like seven at night so my days are pretty long and um with everything that's going on i've been just overwhelmed and uh, not been motivated to do much of anything but i'm trying to change things around a little bit at a time now Okay, that's enough for now. Just gonna go in with my Australis Fresh and Flawless powder and powder everything in place. Just getting a tightly packed brush for that. Um, and we were thinking, because we wanted to invite my in laws as well, so we're thinking, you know, we'll wait for them and then maybe they can help us out a little bit with unpacking and stuff. Just going in with a bigger, fluffier brush to powder the rest of my face. Um, and they're finally coming, they're coming next week. So, I'm pretty sure in knowing me, I'll have unpacked everything by then. The other thing is like, we are lacking, we have a lot of storage, but we're lacking drawer space. So, we've been wanting to like, buy some drawers and stuff as well. So, I've not been getting around to it, pretty much. But I have tomorrow off, which I'm really excited about because I'm ready for a day off. Um, I work alternate weekends and I get one weekday off. So I am quite looking forward to my day off tomorrow. Just going in with my trusted Maybelline Master Contour Palette and going in with the bronzer shade. With a big, um, this is the Sonia Kashuk, what brush is this? Duo Fiber Brush. And just... Give it a quick, little rough bronze. So hopefully I can order, either I'll order in, like order some chest of drawers. Like I just, I need two, three drawer chests um, for our bedroom. And then we have a five drawer one, I think. Four and then plus two, so six drawer um, chest, which we're gonna put in my in-laws room so they can use it for their storage if they need it <clears throat> we still have to assemble their bed um so yeah our weekends are going to be pretty full on <laughs> um they're coming next week so we have tomorrow and then we have the saturday sunday um because the other two days we're both working thursday and thursday i'm working night so I'm so sick of retail now. I'm really honestly over and done with retail. So today I'm just going to use the blush that comes in that palette. This is the light to medium. I'm not a huge fan of this blush, but we're going to go with it for this video. Can't be bothered to pull out another one, although it's like sitting right here, but I used it yesterday, so we'll use something else. Just like that. Um, and I like it. I like a little blended look, so I'm just going to go back in with my powder brush and just give it all a nice mush. Now for my eyes, I'm just going to use my, oh, I have like five minutes, um, soft ochre paint pot because I've been loving this stuff. Um, So yeah, where was I? Yeah, they're coming next week. And they're gonna be with us for a while, so it's gonna be fun. And then my parents are coming for Christmas, so I'm like really, really on top of this world. Um, yeah. I don't know what we're doing for Christmas this year because working in retail, that's like our busiest with Boxing Day and stuff, so getting some time off is going to be hard and I'll probably take the time off in January, but... I'm just glad they're coming. I haven't... I saw... my mom was here last year around 
this time, but I haven't seen my dad since I moved here, which is in almost a year and a half, plus some, plus some, to <laughs> go with plus some. Um, so yeah, so I'm going in with my Lori Morello palette, Ciate. I'm going in with that shade, which is my tribe. I'm going in with a big fluffy brush. You guys know how much I love this palette from the last video. I think I praised it like insane amounts. Yes, um, I do find the eyeshadow is a little bit powdery, but nothing I cannot deal with. Um, and then I'm going in with <coughs> Unconditional Seam Brush. Just gonna messily put it all over, mostly in my crease area to create that transition. Once you're done with that, I'm going in with a flat shader brush. Um, this is still loaded, but I'm going in with that shade right here, which is Fierce. Yep, that one there. Um, I'm using a brush, but I think this is probably best applied with your fingers, but I'm not a finger person. And this one has a little bit of color, so I'm actually going to get a toilet roll and just put it there. It's a beautiful, beautiful shade. So I bought the Too Faced um, Shadow Insurance, right? And then I bought the MAC um, Soft Ochre. Oh, I haven't touched the Too Faced since. I absolutely love the Soft Ochre. I don't know why I hadn't bought it sooner. Okay, so that's that. I'm going to continue using this because um, I don't have that much time left now, so I'm going to take that shade, um, shade, I'm going to take that, um, fluffy brush, I'm going in with the third shade in the palette, which is On Fire, and I'm just going to blend this shadow with that. Tapping is, like, super important with this palette because it is powdery, like, Nobody does this. But see how easy that blends? Like, it's just... You don't have to work hard at all. And then I'm going to go in with Flirt, which is this deep purple color in the palette next to the uh, other one. And I'm going to put that in the outer corner using the using a little denser brush like that. I'm wearing Burberry today. Um, it's my favorite perfume. And I keep getting the whiff of that and I'm just like, heaven. <laughs> um, it is Burberry Brit. I'm just gonna go in with my other um, blending brush, the one that we used earlier. I'm just going to take the unconditional Just blend all of that together so it's seamless. I'm 
You want to just make sure that the pressure you're using is quite light. Going in with the first shade, Skinny Dip, and just getting it all together now. That's it. I'm going in with like a smaller crease brush and going in with On Fire. Okay. And now going in with the first shade and a different cleaner. Um, this is an angle. Going in with the first shade, my tribe, and just highlighting the brow bone and just blending out the harsh edges. Again, just barely doing anything. And then I'm going to go in with the um, powder and that, and then just clean up from under my eyes. Just like that. And then I'll just redefine the maroon or the face shadow. Just a little bit, and I'm so now it's really intensified. Close it and put it away. Don't think about it now. <laughs> and I'm just going to line my eyes really quickly. Um, I think I want to smoke it out a little bit, so I'm just going to use a pencil liner. And I'm actually, all right, I'm going to go back to that palette. Oh, open. No, I'm opening the wrong way. I'm going to go in with Own It right there. I'm going to take the smallest pencil brush. Dip it in there. Smoke it out. I think that's good enough. Just because I don't have time anymore. I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Colossal Mascara and just give it a healthy coat. There you go. I'm going to intensify my blush, so I'm going to go in with my NYX blush. This is a mauve. I'm going to do a subtle highlight, so I'm going in with my Revlon Brighten, which is something like that. And my fan brush. using my natural lip liner just to outline. I'm 
New Year's Minimalist by NYX. is my makeup for today thank you so much for tuning in guys i hope you had fun getting ready with me and chit chatting with me and um if you did like this video please do not forget to subscribe and hit the like button and i will catch you guys in the next video thank you so much for tuning in bye